It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Cleveland Browns. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the home of rock and roll. Cleveland, Ohio and Cleveland Browns Stadium. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, glad to have you in the booth with us here on EA Sports. Greg, this is one of those intriguing matchups because we've got a couple of quarterbacks, that most important position, trying to bounce back after seasons where injury derailed their hopes for a good campaign. And it's just so difficult when you look back on each of these teams' prior season just last year. It's hard to separate how much of their up and down, how much of their struggles was because of the injuries at the quarterback positions, whether they were in the game or just battling through on game day, or was it the rest of the roster? Well, I think with both of these quarterbacks now being healthy and back to looking like their old selves, we're going to get a lot better idea of just how good the rest of these rosters are now that their two quarterbacks are back on the field. On the return, this is strong. And a good kick pays off. They'll only be able to take this past the 10-yard line. The Browns led out by their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The stardom early in Houston. Now his third season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. There was a time, and it wasn't very long ago, Mike, that this guy was trending towards becoming one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. He has to find a way to get back to stacking strong performances one after another and keep his team in the hunt. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out, but if he plays well, his team is always going to have a strong chance of winning. And a big run right out of the blocks. He gets forward for nine on the first play of the game. A good spot here, second and a yard. Shotgun snap to Watson. Open man, that's Amari Cooper. And we got him down after a game of five, but that is enough for a first down. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he'll be hauled down at another 35-yard line. Well, there's fast starts, Mike, and then there's this. It just seems like it's completion after completion, and now they find themselves in plus territory. Every team has their fringe red zone down to their red zone plan, and once you cross midfield, you got to be thinking six at the worst three, but you're coming away with points. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. Off he goes. Carrying that ball loosely, and it is out. The Giants led out by their quarterback, Daniel Jones. Here he is. It's year six in the NFL. He was the sixth overall pick back in 2019 out of Duke. And Jones still at the helm for the Giants. In my opinion, Mike, if they expect to leave here today with a win, they're going to have to be aggressive early and often. They might not connect on all of them, but pushing the ball downfield could open up a lot of opportunities for you to take advantage as this game unfolds. Set to go now on first and ten. Jones going to throw right away. Back to the rookie from LSU, Malik Davis. And he's 
taken down up past the 35. So, first and ten here now at the 38. Now the former Bill and Texan Devin Singletary. He'll work forward for a couple. Jeremiah Wusu Kuramoa in on the stop. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Working from the gun, it's Jones. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. They might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. Jones. He got all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. Fourth down, it's hammer time. The Scottish hammer. Jamie Gillen on to kick. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The Browns offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. the shotgun. Here's Watson. He's got his man, the tight end, David Njoku. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. We'll come to the line now on second and two. They give it, and it's four. Lots of space past the 45. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what, you can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Out of the gun, Watson. There's a short throw caught by the Joku. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And this is taken in by the defense. Something these running back coaches preach all the time, Mike, is you can't sacrifice the ball for additional yardage. And I think we had a case of that going here. I love the effort. I love the fight. But it can't come at the expense of the ball. Everything in football is about protecting the ball itself. And in this case, just a little bit too loose with it. They're able to pop it loose, and that's a big turnover. Turnovers have to be verified by a replay. So they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not 
be a fumble. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Now a handoff to four. That lane closes quickly. A pickup of three. Deontay Banks comes up to make the play. They face second down and seven. Again, it's four. And he'll get this close to a first down. Gets about seven, maybe a yard short of the first down. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. Watson now on third down. He's got the hook up there to Cooper. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hands, and results in a completion. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run once more for four. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. So the penalty sets up this offense for first and goal. They'll run with four. Yeah! They'll get a yard or two to the eight. Second and goal. Here now, second down and goal. Throwing is Watson. He's going to tuck it and go. And some space opening up as he works it down to the two. Coming into the game, this is something defensively you have to be aware of. If this quarterback gets a chance and he sees some daylight, he's going to try to take it in on his own. But not in this case. They were quick to react, stop him short. Now brings up third and goal. Now Watson on third and goal. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Gary Judy. Touchdown Browns. Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Browns will take a 7-0 lead.
both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, it is Tyrone Tracy. Past midfield. They're going to be set up with a short field. What a tremendous kick return. You know, Mike, for a lot of guys in the league, the best way to make an impact as a rookie is through special teams. And anytime you can make yourself valuable, find a way to contribute, you do it. And that was a heck of a return right there. The Giants offense back onto the field for their next possession. They can get back into this quickly now. Very short field ahead. It is first and ten. play there by Malik Neighbors and when we talked to the head coach Brian Dable what did he tell us he said I need more competitive guys I need guys that are going to go out there and compete for the ball play in and play out and remember Mike this is a guy that led college football in yards per game last year at over 120 yards receiving per game so they got themselves a pretty special talent here in New York and I think we're just scratching the surface It is first and goal. Shotgun now for Jones. And a good job there of hemming him in. They get it to the eight-yard line. Now here's second and goal. They run here with Singletary. Stop at the six, and that sets up third and goal. first possession of this game like it resulted in a punt not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds they get the ball back for possession two. now they try to find some rhythm find their identity of the game plan and they come away with six so that's how you bounce back in this league it's not always going to be perfect really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession now it's Graham Gano for the PAT. got it and the Giants will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter from the four. And not much doing on this return. Good coverage. And we're stopping his tracks. Past the 15-yard line. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. Harris Evans on the scoreboard. And we're back to Cleveland in a minute. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. The drive starts with a carry by four. 
finding room across midfield. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40-yard line. Big start to this drive with a gain of 26. Watch the running back's patience here, Mike. He's slow, he's slow, and then he hits it. That's the key here. If he goes too fast, their linemen aren't ready yet. Really well executed. Great run. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and 10. They try to set up the screen, but this one doomed from the start. It's incomplete. Try again. It's second and ten. A give to Ford on the zone lead. Trying to shove his way forward, but brought down after a gain of a yard. Third down and nine. It's Watson. That's going to be all in. He's got it. David Njoku. Touchdown, Cleveland. Greg, what a great play called down there. Using the size of the tight end. You've been there. That's a really difficult play to pull off. And I can promise you, Mike, they spent a lot of time all week working on this very play. They go down in the red zone, and they talk through it. They walk through it. He understands. He's got that big body tight end. Use all of that space to the outside. Keep the ball away from the defender, and it's the trust knowing that your guy is going to keep those feet in bounds and come down with six. Extra point up and good from Hopkins. The Browns will move out to a 14 to 7 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Tracy now to return it and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line the Giants offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession they trail now 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10 
Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. Jones going to try and throw on third down. That's into the hands of his receiver, Hyatt. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. It's Jones. Open man downfield. That's Neighbors. A big time play out of the G Man. 35 yards. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw. And now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now Jones on the bootleg. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free. He gains nothing. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here, Why? Jones to the air again. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Malik Neighbors, the intended receiver. Third down coming up. The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run after. Already closing in on 100 yards receiving in the first half. That one picks up a first down. And his great game continues. And all game long, Mike, he's really been on the receiving end of a lot of big plays. But I think we might have just seen his best one yet. On the ground, it's Singletary. And a nice game there on first down. He takes it forward for eight yards. Here's second and two. Again, it's Singletary. He'll take this for a couple, but the official signal, he has enough first down. Defenders to jump. So now then, first and goal from the one. They'll look to run with Singleton. He slams it in there, and he is in. Singletary. Touchdown, New York. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Now, Gano for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Giants will tie things up. We are all even at 14. Yeah. 
We are all square. 14 apiece the score as this one's away. Now return coming from the 7. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Browns' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Back to throw is Watson. That's complete to Moore on the right side. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Shotgun snap to Watson. That's caught left side by Cooper. They'll mark him down just shy of the 40. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. A play fake. Now Watson to throw. One. Oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. That's over the middle to his tight end, Njoku. And they'll work this Close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Now a third and two. Throwing again is Watson. That's caught. Inside, it's complete. He's still on his feet. Terrific job all the way around, especially after the catch, Greg, to take it to the end zone for a touchdown. I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver, Mike. He catches what is a short pass, and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six. That is an impressive play, run after catch. Now Hopkins on to add the extra point. His kick is good. And the Browns have broken the deadline as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Tracy now to return it. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Malik Neighbors heading out with the Giants offense for their next possession. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in the first half, it's resulted in a big play that is borne out by those eye-popping numbers. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll give it to Singletary to begin this drive. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's 
pretty impressive. They'll run once more with Singleton. And tough running there. He's up to the 32. Brent Delpin up to make the play. They need eight as they come up for third down. Working from the gun, it's Jones. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. We'll try the zone read on first and ten. Oh, what a run down inside the 30-yard line. So, two minutes to play in a back-and-forth first half. We'll have more from Cleveland after this. Jones now on first down. We'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. The gun, it's Jones. going to slide to a stop and avoid the contact but since he started there he's still shy of the first down these plays just kill you defense the pressure is good but you have to contain him quarterback does a nice job of escaping the pocket turns into a runner scrambles for positive yardage Jones looking to throw on third and two he'll get this one to his safety valve complete the initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, is they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. If he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch, they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about. And we're going to see what it looks like. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants will cut the lead down to four. See if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Browns offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. Belief sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Gun Watson. A throw caught by Judy on the outside. And a mark down just shy of the 40. From the 39, here's a first and ten. the shotgun. Here's Watson. A quick slap. Looked in by Moore. 
That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Second down. Here's Watson. That's caught. It's Amari. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30 yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time. Results in a nice first down pickup. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Dustin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This one from 39 yards out. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Browns can tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Browns were given a solid performance in that first half from their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. He threw a first-quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three-touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Tracy now to return it. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Giants offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Starts with a carry by Singleton. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Shotgun now for Jones. Back to the sideline. He's got neighbors. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch. But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. First and ten. They'll run. It's Singletary. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Brett Delp it up to make the play. Second and seven. Here's a run with Singletary. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but Probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Some defensive ends specialize in getting after the quarterback. Some defensive ends specialize in run game. This guy can really make an impact on both, as we saw here for that tackle for loss. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Throwing now is Jones. Woo! He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. 
and they're going to get this ball down to the 20 yard line if you want to score points at a high level in the nfl you have to generate explosive plays and after that big chunk pass play they find themselves now down there in the red zone and this is where you have to finish drives Jones now on first down. This one taken in by Hyatt. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start now another try at first and goal albeit from a little further back now Joe he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver knew what was going on. That's incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. That is caught. And he's close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him short. Put him down at the one. Looking for that final yard. It's third and goal. Again, they'll throw with Jones. That one taken in. Jalen Hyatt. Touchdown, New York. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Oftentimes, you can tell the decision about whether or not a team is going to go for it on fourth down based on what they do on third down. And I think they knew they had an extra down in their back pocket. Try on third and goal to go through the air. And even if you fail, you still got one more shot at it. And it results in a touchdown. Goodell on to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants will tie this game at 24. So back to level after the touchdown. In time for the kickoff. They're trying to pin him deep. They'll take this from the three. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Browns offense and quarterback Deshaun Watson getting set for their next drive. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. play action here's Watson under pressure and down he goes they got him defense came out in a soft zone and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard he was trying to attack them downfield by the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down he ran out of time and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down
Work to do now as they come up on second and long. To throw is Watson. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. And it'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Hunting time for the Browns. They're set to kick it away. And Gunnar Olszewski goes back deep to bring this one back. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. The Giants offense and receiver Malik Neighbors set to take over once more. And he was unguardable in the first half. You see the numbers as they try to add to those here in the third quarter. Set to go now on first and ten. Up the middle. Here's Singletary. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. Zadarius Smith, the linebacker, in on the stop. They face second down and seven. Out of the gun, they'll give it to Singletary. And he's able to sidestep his way forward and pick up four. Third down, three to go. First down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. And he finds some space, tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. To throw is Jones. Quick slant looked in by Neighbors. man is higher on the handoff single tear he'll move the pile forward let's give him a couple that was Jordan Hicks who got him down look him up on a second down and eight Here's Jones to throw. That's taken in. What a catch by Neighbors. That's the second time they connect on this drive. This one good for 13 yards. An unbalanced look to the left here on first down. On play action, it's Jones. The all-pro, there to bring him down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup 
to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. Go. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Rough sequence over these last couple plays. First down sack. Second down big play attempt falls incomplete. You want to make matters worse. You've got to operate in third and long on a defense that knows they can just pin their ears back and try to get after the quarterback. On third and long, it's Joe. He's got it at the seven. And he's in. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, Giants. Well, it seems this game is kind of getting to the point, Mike, where it's defense optional. I mean, both these teams are really just having their way with their opponent. They're going up and down the field. And after this long touchdown, yes, this is great if you're a fantasy player, but it's not so great if you're a defensive coordinator. Now, Cano for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants will go up by seven. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return this is strong and he is stopped at the 25 the drive will begin there the home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more and it's been a struggle all afternoon the defense done a great job taking him away from his game taking his weapons away and he is yet to find anything to lean on in this one. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They bring Judy in motion. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. They'll take this forward maybe two, three yards, but doesn't matter. We have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. They get the former number 10 overall pick, Jedrick Wills. Shotgun snap to Watson. And that'll help a bit. It's still well short of the sticks. A solid pickup on that first down play. Well, that scramble is ultimately going to end up short of the first down, Mike, but it's going to help quite a bit. That's a great job by the quarterback. Just taking what the defense gives you, get downfield, pick up good yardage. Here's Paul. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. Here's a third and ten. Back to throw is Watson. Carrying that ball loosely, and it is out. One of the Giants has it. And he is going to bring this one back. They force the fumble, and it leads to a defensive score. And 
a terrific play for the defense to come up with the score that Greg extends their lead and really hurts the offense's momentum. Mike, it's hard enough in this league when you find yourself trailing in the second half to be able to battle yourself back and try to end up winning this game. But when you have turnovers like that, that not only then extend the lead, it just makes that even a taller task. Goodell on to add the extra point. It's up and through. And the Giants will extend this third quarter lead. ready to go once more as the kicks away this one taken at the seven and a solid run back there he'll get this out past the 30 yard line the home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession and he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one this defense has been picked apart that is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. On play action, it's Watson. He's going to keep it himself. Quarterback does a nice job here sensing the pressure pretty quickly. Realizes he doesn't have a ton of time to operate from within the pocket. Decides to tuck the ball and rely on his legs. He's able to pick up a positive play. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. This gives to Ford heading right. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. So, no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Third and a yard. Throwing is Watson. And this ball incomplete on third down. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the past. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. And no return for It's a touchback, and we'll come out to the 20-yard line. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we've got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jones. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. 
Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Now whistles here and a penalty. Somebody moves early up front. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. From the gun on third down, Jones. Complete. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. This returnable from inside is on 40. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. the gun Watson that's caught left side by Cooper and they'll get about half of what they needed it's a pick up of five and sets up second and five now it's Watson And they'll move this one down inside the 40 yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age old question is do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. Here's third and two. They'll keep it on the ground. First down and more inside the 15. Out of bounds, but in business. They mark him down near the two. It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 27. That's the mindset I just love seeing from a running back, Mike. His eyes weren't just on that first down marker. They were on getting that first and some on top of it. That's pretty impressive. Watson to throw. A throw on the move is caught. Joku, touchdown Cleveland. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Hopkins now to tack on the extra point. It's up and good. And 
The Browns will cut the deficit to seven. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Tracy now to return it. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The visitor's offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been unquestionably the star of the show as they've just absolutely had no answer on the defensive side of the ball. Here's first and ten. They run here with Singletary. And a short pickup past the 25. Here's a second and nine. Now Jones on the bootleg. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Throwing is Jones on third down. The Giants sending out their punter as they try to play the field position game here, protecting the fourth quarter lead. This will be returned from the other side of midfield, and it'll be brought down. Short return, and they'll take over there. The home team's offense and their running back set to go once more. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll run. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's second and nine. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll get back to midfield. So no game on that one. To throw on second down is Watson. There's that man again. Another pick. This play is actually really well defended here. But I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. Here's Watson. He'll tuck it and take off. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. We've seen this quarterback have some effective plays with his legs all game today, Mike. 
He knows when to stay in there and look to pass, but he also knows when it's time to tuck it and go, and he's able to pick up good yardage there. A play fake. Now Watson to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to... And he kept that play alive as long as he could, but the rush eventually gets to him and takes him down. You can tell the quarterback has built a lot of confidence in his ability to make plays today with his feet. The defense has had a hard time keeping him in check, and this time, much better job in pursuit. Even though he was able to get outside the pocket, they were able to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. They'll run here. 15-yard pickup there. First down, Cleveland. More often than not, Mike, when a team decides to keep the ball on the ground on a third and long like this, typically the next play is either a punt or a field goal. But give credit here to this play caller. He saw something in the defense, gives the ball to his back, and he's able to pick up big yardage and the first down. Off the bootleg, here's Watson. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. They'll try again here. Second and ten. From the shotgun, here's Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. On third down, here's four. And the Browns are going to be set up with first and goal. He couldn't quite break the plane. They'll have it at the one-yard line. A huge advantage to red zone offense is the ability to run the ball. In this case, I thought he was going to score. He takes it all the way down inside the two. Sets up first and goal. Now, Watson. He's got his big tight end. David Njoku. Touchdown, Browns. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter. And now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up. We got ourselves a ball. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good. And that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. Even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. This game all even now following that touchdown a moment ago. They'll look to retake the lead on this drive. It starts with first down. In motion, it's Robinson. 
will show Jet Sweep and instead run it up the middle. And this will be a Giants first down as he gets this up to the 40-yard line. Well, really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. This one is caught by Robinson. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. They'll go up for first and ten. Shotgun now for Joe. They look middle here and get it to Avery. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Here's first down. They'll run for the first time with their fullback. Now we'll get a timeout Cleveland. That's their second. They'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Now on second and long. Singletary. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Now return coming from the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. This offense and their running back heading back on the field. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Watson. 
Off balance throw. It's complete. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Now they face third down and seven. Here we go. One final play. That's caught. It's the tight end, Michuku. And he'll be brought down there. And that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So a road win here for the Giants. They took this one down to the wire. Late field goal does the trick. Walk away with the victory.